who puts demons in you now dedicated to east africa may the genius in you explode and all black people benefit welcome to the ninefold soul teaching the real divinity asleep in us all of which one can easily be turned into a demon christians are cast demons a daily do they really cast them what is a demon do you have a demon do christian pastors and exorcists really cast out a devil who can put a demon inside you arrive at a profitable conjunction we must adequately come to terms with the spiritual realm of our ancestors first we do so by grasping at the traditional african cosmology there are many of them but we put them in general understanding what is cosmology cosmology is the science of the origin and development of the universe it starts off with the creator so called god today the real essence in you as supreme and far above human beings placide temples 1952 uh, 4469 in his research bad philosophy organizes african cosmology according to a hierarchy of force beings which possess varying degrees of vital force the dynamic african concept of being showing and shown here we know that the supreme the creator the ultimate is above and below the creator or creator is is the first human ancestor out of which all other human uh, came from and formulated the bantu clans below these are the dead of uh, our tribes in order of emoji nature which is the state of being at uh, the first uh, born of the family below these are lower forces such as animals uh, vegetables are uh, trees minerals as temples continues to show chahens ashian uh, utilizing alex sis kagame's fourfold schema as uh, you can see here indicated relays a slightly different cosmology where you have got umuntu which are the forces with intelligence ukintu which are the forces without intelligence which could be the source of many of uh, the demons uhantu which are the forces of places and the time which are seasonal and the akuntu or ukuntu which are the forces of modality modality means the particular mode in which something exists or is experienced or expressed that's where you get the reptilian or the puna yeah. john mbiti another scholar 1969 gives a cosmology that situates spirits between gods and humans that's also where you get that totian or atlantean are uh, thinking of a reptilian god spirits humans are the living animals and the plants and the phenomenon of the object without biological life now what we know is that all beings are interrelated by means of a vital power and hierarchically arranged according to a vital rank we realize that both mbiti and e bolaji idohu 1973 indicated here subdivide spiritual beings into three hierarch hierarchical categories divinities spirits and ancestors the living and dead generally speaking spirit beings belong to the ontological mode of existence between god and men so they are the go in between you can study more on this uh, website that we are indicating here so the list that we come up with include the evil spirits the devil the demons shabi mizimu mamepo mapvuri chipuna spirit chipuna that's where reptilian are falls or chitauri falls spirit moya mwea set or shatter that's where you get satan or the devil gozi which is extra energy to do or the ability to do something or the spirit of the ancestor mephistopheles which is satan energy which is power or simba thinking thoughts which is ability to transfer thoughts and witchcraft all these all these were natural nature based forces with benefits as well as harm but africans easily controlled them because they were all an aspect of the ninefold soul the most difficult is the one that affected the brain or mind which the modern ones inherit via colonial religions and philosophy and education let's see uh, this now who today can put a demon or demons in you do you have a demon this is one of them you can see images of this all over the show and they are becoming uh, popular what is it that they are doing they are playing with time and space occupying space creating a vortex in which they can be able to transmit that in the spiritual realm so some people can absorb that so you can have a demon yes or as well as no is it a mental issue yes and also not we realize that it is 
most of the time a mental issue we know that mental issues involve the brain which is physical how we think how we act depicts what our state of our brain and also shows whether we have a demon or not however our behavior is also a result of our link to our identity your identity and behavior points to a specific behavior that dominates either normalcy or abnormalcy or abnormal or being abnormal ukopo inqondo ukuhlakanipha ulwazi zibo ziya ziba ukucabanga kufunga or thinking is based on a system of the mind if that system is not yours then you have a demon then it's not correct it's not right everything evolves around what we call the mind today thus a demon takes control of the brain as well as your intestines in your tummy the plural for mind is minds what is the mind the mind plays around and plays a lot and deals a lot with the brain the human brain mind is a faculty is a faculty of consciousness which is the element in a person that enables you to be aware to be awake to know to experience to think and to have a feeling it is the faculty of consciousness and the thought a lot of thoughts run through my mind that's how you say ngiyacabanga ukuthi ngiyedlelene or ngizihambela that's what you do so the brain gives you intelligence gives you intellect gives you intellectual capacities mental capacity brain power wits uh, powers of reasoning powers of comprehension understanding powers of thought powers of judgment imagination subconscious a psychic the ego gray matter or brain a box or brain cells normalizing mental disorders that are induced by very strong emotions from inner or external forces eventually become personalized yet they are actually a dissociated identity disorder this is a huge generator of demons we can see that the phrase he has lost his mind we ask the question how either voluntarily or manipulatively in such a state we say they have cast a demon into you we qualify that by noting the mental state emanating from africans adopting colonial behavior or colonial culture without a quibble and actually loving it so the hippocampus called rukonye in african tradition becomes straight so to colonize you the colonizer had to cause you to identify yourself with his colonial thought and put in you a bio microchip that was implanted in your mind the colonial self identity implanted in you is that self righteousness or self reliance is bad thinking for yourself to remove it you have to stop believing that your self righteousness is bad self righteousness is your only creator given ability to self correct your thoughts and actions which is your conscience and human maturity which is the existence of yourself by telling you that your righteousness is like filthy rags the white is purity white is righteousness it means that you were programmed and your mind was being bio microchipped into a colonial mentality so your answer to all your problems were taken away and put into jesus and put into muhammad and put into the quran and into the bible and into the pastor the reasoning used to colonize us was that we become or we turn into another species you only have one existence the same as everything else including your dna they give you a second existence and a second identity of existence which is the one colonial existence identity of the virus called white logic of learning reality through jesus through islam through the bible through western degrees through democracy through white heaven and hell through capitalism freemasonry illuminati judaism colonial puppeteering becoming a colonial puppet all these are diseases which are linked to one identity which is dissociative or dissociated identity disorder and its symptoms which is affecting us colonialism also affected us by using divide and conquer the berlin conference and those in america being taught other religions other philosophies that divide them from us it's no surprise your true identity was called a sinner in church that's what it is and that's what they said they played with our brain that's the physical brain so the food that we eat the thinking that we pro we, we use was programmed and associative personality is human independent and distinctly identify us with the mahat which is self identification and the pinu clan plays a major role 
and our thinking must emanate from the reality that is in the cortex in our brain because that is where melanin is synthesized because melanin through light absorbed by the ganglion cells in our eyes as when we were babies makes us what we are gives us the african reality so emotional realistic view of ourselves and reality does not need the alpha male or alpha female status or validation or war reserved for other animals like monkeys other enzymes via food like tyrosinase the synthesis of melanin to dopa receptors are affected by the food and the diet that we adopt and also the mantra that is taught in church the repetitive attitude that you are given that you also always repeat after the pastor or after the prophet statements like i'm a sinner statements like i'm a crazy person statements like i'm an african and a stupid person repeating that those statements formulate a personal identity and that personal identity becomes empowered through emotional force emotional power which becomes uncontrolled emotions and these become disincarnate identity entities in and around you and they become your identity but yet they are dissociated identity disorder symptoms that's the trick that we have been played and therefore when that happens we no longer know ourselves know thyself we no longer mean anything to you therefore you become a christian if you're a christian you don't know yourself if you're a muslim you don't know yourself if you follow any other religion that is not linked to your identity by and through your ancestry you have lost it you are no longer yourself so africans are therefore scientifically meant to build their own logic and civilization via a curriculum where melanin becomes the wormhole and it becomes self reflection and self correction via mental laws so only african realistic thinking can conceive a civilization from nothing or else does not therefore when you adopt a culture of your oppressor your enslaver when you embrace it without a doubt and with a love it disconnects you from your ecological niche therefore you eat the food and drink the beverages that are associated with your enemy they are putting energy in you and are not associated with your genes and your language that you use is not yours and you feel comfortable with that it means those that treat you in with vile and with evil or worse than human beings develop in you a subtle neurological disorder thus a solid foundation of madness or demon possession is set and that because you lack self confidence your mind become a demonic generator a tools to do and tools to cast out devils means whispering or spitting on demonic images therefore if you take the picture of jesus and spit on it you are casting that out if you take the holy books and their holy bibles and bend them you are casting them out and then your understanding becomes when you reach that stage it means the fear has been trampled you have crushed it then you can crush that image with your left foot then you can know the specific names of those demons instruct that in with love to depart and to go out of you and dwell in other entities or back where it came from our ancestors across the earth believed in the power of magic so to solve all human problems we need to understand it we need to understand health love marriage children and evil spirits and demons and everything else what does the african philosopher say the ancient african priesthood understood that being truly religious uh, means that it is when one has completely banished the ego and then views him or herself never as separate from others and the universe at large in doing that one reconnects to all the ancestors spirits and natures with the then which ultimately make, means that you become subsumed into the abstract divine entity whom we call god to which the priesthood put a capital g and would realize that the anthropomorphic spirit or energy is not a single entity this state is easily lost but must be regularly recovered how to recover it keep reminding yourself daily you only have one existence and one reality religions like christianity islam judaism and all others disconnect you from your identity and african reality how by calling your ancestors sinners which means your reality and existence is called sin and they are condemned to be burning in hell which is a lie they induce fear and hypnotic hypnotically repeat after a mini mantra 
with a heavy dosage of sentimental music and a cappella songs, which uh, you eventually sing to yourself and induces an open seas childlike desire, making it easy for you to be reprogrammed into abnormal behavior, which we classify as being demon possessed, with auto suggestion as enhancing a uh, tool and repeat after me statement in church. That's why you must receive a savior to uh, become demon possessed. In conclusion, therefore, what can you do? It is clear our African source of demons is easy for our experts to deal with. Protection against spiritual induced demons from Christianity, Islam, Judaism and others are more in the brains of black folks. Stick to your racial identity directly connected to your ancestors. Anything else is recreating your godhood as a disincarnate soul, demon controlled or possessed. Thus, enhance your education daily. Remember, philosophy of education is the foundation of any civilization. So, as stated by Dr. T. Theophilo Omenga. To guard yourself from technological demons, you have to use charms or tebe. Powerful ones include crystals, elements like melanin, even shungite, all do a lot of grounding and protection. They also have the ability to convert negative energy into positive energy. It is very useful to block too much electromagnetic emissions from computers, cell phones, and everything else. Remember, this is how our ancestors became Christians. So, violence, fear, and evil. Thank you, Siabonga Tatenda. Subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Hebrew Ethics, propagating the real potential to recreate the real power to rulership and perfect time recapturing. This is Prince Teacher Rabbi LM Tumisulu. Contact us on our email lmtumisulu at gmail.com. Thank you. Goodbye.